In today's video, we are going to find the period of a function f of x is equal to sin of x plus cos of x whole square. Let's do it. But before solving the question, let's see what is meant by the period of a function. The period of a function is simply the distance between the repetition of a function. Let's elaborate it. Look at this figure. This is x-axis, y-axis and this is this yellow arrow represents a certain function. Let's take one revolution of this yellow arrow. It covers, suppose it covers a distance of 2 pi units. Now take one more revolution. It covers 2 pi units more. So the total distance will be 4 pi. And if it takes one more revolution, a distance of 2 pi units is added and it becomes 6 pi units. Now we have seen that this function has repeated itself after 2 pi, 4 pi and 6 pi units. Here as you see 2 pi is the smallest of these or least of these. So, 2 pi is the least distance, is the least distance and it is called the least period. 2 pi, 4 pi, 6 pi are all periods of this function but 2 pi is the least period. Now, we will define the least period of the function as, least period will be a least positive number p is called period of a, a function f of x if f of x is equal to f of x plus p. And in this, in this question, we are going to solve the, uh, or I should say, we are going to find the least period of the function. So this is our function f of x is equal to sine of x plus cos of x whole square. We expand its square and it becomes sin square x plus cos square x plus 2 sin x cos x and it reduces to 1 plus sin 2x as sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1 and 2 sin x cos x is equal to sin 2x according to double angle identity of sine function. Now we apply the least period definition to this function. Suppose p is the period of this function where p is the least positive number. Then by definition f of x is equal to f of x plus p. Now if f of x is equal to 1 plus sin 2x then f of x plus p will be equal to 1 plus sin of 2 into x plus p. We have, we have replaced x by x plus p. So the function becomes 1 plus sine 2x is equal to 1 plus sine 2 into x plus p. We cancel out 1 and it becomes sine of 2x is equal to sine of 2x plus 2p. Now here we shall use x is equal to 0 to simplify this expression and to find the period of this function. So we put x is equal to 0 in expression 1 and it becomes sine of 2 into 0 is equal to sine of 2 into 0 plus 2p. This implies sine of 0 is equal to sine of 2p. We rearrange it and write it as sine of 2p is equal to sine of 0. Since sine of 0 is equal to 0, so this expression becomes sine of 2p is equal to 0. My, now we find all the possible values of 2p which are uh, 2p is equal to 0 plus minus pi plus minus 2 pi plus minus 3 pi plus minus 4 pi as p is the least positive number so we neglect 0 and negative values therefore 2 pi will be equal, 2 p will be equal to pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi and so on the values of p will be pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 2 pi we replace these values one by one in the expression one and find the least uh, period of the given function. 
we put p is equal to pi by 2 in expression 1. The expression 1 is sine of 2x is equal to sine of 2x plus 2p. We will replace p by pi by 2 and see what happens. Sine of 2x is equal to sine of 2x plus 2 into pi by 2. We cancel out 2 and this expression becomes sine of 2x is equal to sine of 2x plus pi. The expression on right hand side becomes minus sine 2x as we know that sine of theta plus pi is equal to minus sine theta. So here the function has not repeated itself. So this cannot be the period of the given function. This is false. So p is equal to pi by 2 is not the period of or least period of the given function. Now, now we check the next value which is p is equal to pi. So we put p is equal to pi in 1 and it becomes sine of 2x is equal to sine of 2x plus 2 pi. Now here the right hand side will become sine 2x as we know that sine of theta plus 2 pi is equal to sine of theta. So this is true. So the function repeats itself when p is equal to pi. Hence p is the p is equal to pi is the period of the given function and it is the least period of this function.